Months after splitting from Christine Baumgartner for a multi-million dollar sum, Kevin Costner unexpectedly started dating Jewel. After a renownedly contentious divorce from Baumgartner, with whom he has three children, the 68-year-old actor from Yellowstone was ordered by a judge to pay $63,000 a month for their children and to uphold the terms of their prenuptial agreement. Compared to Costner's enormous $400 million fortune, Jules' estimated net worth now is $14 million. The 49-year-old singer stated earlier this year that, at the age of 34, she was bankrupt and in debt due to her estranged mother Lynn Edra theft of almost $100 million. In 1974, Jewel Kilcher, the artist, was born in Payson, Utah. Soon after Jewel was born, her parents, at 75, a popular reality TV star on Alaska, The Last Frontier, and Lenedra Carroll, 67, relocated her and her elder brother, Shane, to Alaska. There, they lived on a sizable homestead without plumbing or electricity. In an interview with Amy Morin for the Very Well Mind podcast in March 2003, when I was eight years old, my parents got divorced, and we moved in with my dad, she clarified. No one informed me that my mother didn't want to be a mother. My dad took over raising us when she left. That was unknown to me at the time. My father was a volatile alcoholic who was easy to pin down and label as the bad guy. It seemed like my mom was the opposite. She never yelled, was gentle, and clearly never beat me. She continued, and at the time, I was unaware that I was being abused in another way. Jewel claimed that her mother would find methods to ignore her without Jewel knowing when the girl went to her for help. Let's imagine she would say, your mind is so powerful, when I showed up at her house, we barely utilize 10% of the potential in our minds. Our thoughts are so strong, and I believe that you have such strength, Jewel, that you could sit here and look at this light bulb and perhaps use your mind to turn it off. In retrospect, who will save your soul? The singer claimed that those exchanges made her feel loved at the time. She didn't find out until much later that her mother had been babysitting her by having her monitor light bulbs, since she didn't want to remain and be with her. Thus, an attached figure's look may not always be what it seemed. The vocalist of You Were Meant For Me started her performance career early. To make money, she and her father would sing and yodel at roadhouses and pubs. When I was eight years old, I used to sing in bars. My life was terrifying because I lived among predators. My life was really terrifying. And in my past, relationships with adults didn't feel safe, and adults themselves weren't safe. Jewel was able to leave the bars because of her town. She was awarded a partial scholarship by the Interlochen Center for the Arts in Michigan, where she plans to pursue operatic voice. Homer, her hometown came together to support her and held an auction to raise the remaining funds. After completing her studies at the music school, she moved to San Diego and picked up the Gidon. She performed and wrote music there while residing in Oven. Before she was caught, she worked as a phone operator at a computer forum and a coffee shop to pay her bills. Pieces of You, her debut album, became a 12-time platinum record as a result of its phenomenal success. Spirit, the artist's second album, did not have the same level of success as Pieces of Me, despite making a third-place debut on the Billboard 200. The singer's mother and Jewel were sufficiently close to share financial information. It wasn't until I was in my 30s that I truly understood my mother. She said, I woke up and realized she embezzled over $100 million of money. And then I discovered that almost everything I had built my world around was fiction when I began looking into the differences between what was true and what my mother had told me while I was growing up, she continued. At 34, I've realized that I owe $3 million, that my mother stole it, and that my mother wasn't who I thought she was. It's a very tough psychological thing to accept. Early in the new millennium, Jewel assisted in founding the nonprofit Inspiring Children, which offers the singer's free in person and online mental health program. Jewel never broke in to at risk children and teenagers. The artist taught herself survival skills to help her get over anxiety and sadness, and she included those in the program. On both her personal and the never broken and inspiring children social media platforms, Jewel frequently discusses the value of mental wellness. Since the early 2000s, the celebrity and her mother have been at odds. 
This occurs in the midst of the actor and Costner's developing romance. According to TMZ on Friday, the two celebrities were spotted sitting quite near to one another on Neck Island, which Richard Branson owns in the British Virgin Islands, over the Thanksgiving weekend. For a tennis benefit for Jules Inspiring Children Foundation, the Yellowstone star was on the island. According to TMZ, Costner took the singer on a flight to the Caribbean where they spent more than a week together, became 40, and are now dating. It was also said that after spending every day by each other's sides, they departed the event together. The website additionally featured pictures of her speaking into a microphone with Kevin's arms encircling her waist. They had a highly flirtatious appearance and a broad smile, which suggested they were enjoying each other's company much. According to the source on the website, there was definitely something going on. They had a flirtatious demeanor and seemed to instantly click when they were together. Additionally, it was revealed. Anyone who saw them could tell something was going on, even though you could tell they were trying to be discreet. Sir Richard played double tennis win. The source for the website also revealed that Jewel has been picky about who to date, but she approved of Kevin since she thought he fits the bill. She appeared to be traveling with her 12-year-old son, Case, who she has with her ex-husband, Ty Murray, since he was spotted on the beach beside the celebrity in her Instagram pictures. During the fundraiser event last week, Jewel made reference to Costner on her Instagram, stating that he was kind enough to mentor our youngsters the year. Regarding the occasion, she continued, My foundation and I travel to Neck Island each year to assist in organizing a tennis event with Richard Branson to raise money for our children. Fantastic players like you come and help us when we play doubles with the visitors. I utilize this amazing opportunity to unwind, rest, and play with my son. And Sir Richard, who also plays a mean game of doubles, was his usual inspirational self. Over the Thanksgiving holiday, Jewel and Costner were also spotted having fun on the private island with other celebrities like Emma Watson and Michael Baldwin. His ideal woman is Jewel Young and Blonde. In addition, he dated Blondes Al McPherson, Joan Linden, Cheryl Teagues, and of course, Christine Baumgartner, his former spouse. When P.G. Six revealed in late November that Jewel and Kevin were traveling together, suspicions were aroused. According to a source who spoke to the website, Costner seemed in high spirits and more interested in looking to the future than welling on his headline-making split from wife of 19 years, Baumgartner. An island hopper said he was chatting to other guests about his upcoming movie projects, and he even screened part of his latest move. The two-part Horizon, an American saga which premieres in June 2004, is his most recent motion pick. The website also stated that Costner went sailing and scuba diving. Additionally, he socialized with tennis players Jeannie Bouchard and Mike Bryan, Emma Watson, Michael Bolton, and Jewel during evening dinners. Paying up to $100,000, guests could come to the island and play tennis with the world's top players. After Costner and his 19-year wife Christine finalized their divorce, the good times started. October saw the settlement of Costner and Baumgartner's extremely contentious divorce, with the prenuptial agreement executed and subject to a hefty financial penalty should it be contested. Kevin and Christine Costner have reached an amicable and mutually agreed upon resolution of all issues pertaining to their divorce proceedings, reads a joint statement from Baumgartner and Costner. The actor and his wife of over 20 years were involved in a protracted legal struggle that ended unexpectedly when it was revealed that Baumgartner had been paid over $400,000 to cover the expenses of the expensive legal battle. From 1978 to 1994, Costner was previously wed to Cindy Silva. The couple had three children together, Joe, 35, Annie, 39, and Lily, 36. In addition, he and Bridget Rooney, whom he dated following his breakup with Silva, had a son named Liam Costner. NFL player Charlie Whitehurst and Sean Penn were two of Jewel's past partners. She was also wed to professional cowboy Ty Murray. The two of them have a kid who is 13 years old. Costner and his former partner are expected to reach a settlement tuck into the one Kevin proposed in a June 30 letter, which would have provided her with child support payments of $75,000 per month.
After receiving a temporary monthly payout of $129,000, the mother of three refused it, requesting an increase to $161,000. Rather, following a two-day hearing in September during which Kevin and Christine testified, a judge mandated that Kevin provide $63,000 each month for their three children. The settlement stipulates that Christine would have to repay Kevin more than $1 million and pay his attorney's fees for the prenuptial fight in the event that she contests the ruin. After being informed of this, she agreed to the terms of a three-page settlement letter. Despite the fact that the prenup is legally binding, Christine received more than what was specified in the contract. Christine had promised to battle it out in court, and her trial was scheduled for December of this year but it has been postponed.